If you could prevent your own swatting, how would you go about doing that? Yo, what's up, cats? My name is Clever Tricks. Thank you for having me on Team Fierce Content Creation Team. Um, this is another knife-only gameplay on Domination, the Ascendance DLC. I'm also using the Spike Drone, just so you guys are aware. And I do everything in this game, from playing the objective, watch your back, son, to uh, ending up on the top of the leaderboard. It's a very fast-paced game, so I hope you stick around for the information provided within this gameplay, as well as for the gameplay itself. So, watch your front. Get that nice little double piece on B to capture it. And back to the topic at hand. If you could prevent your own swatting, how would you do it? A friend of mine recently wanted to get into streaming online. Now, he had a fear, and it was a pretty big fear, although irrational. Um, his fear was that a SWAT team would kick in his door and ruin his day. So we didn't wanna, he didn't want to start a streaming channel on Twitch because he feared getting swatted. Now, it's an irrational fear for someone who just starts Twitch. I mean, the possibility of someone even caring about swatting someone so small is very, very, very little and minuscule. But you know what? SWAT teams, they do more than just ruin your day. SWAT teams have killed pets, family members and have killed the person in question in the past and it'll happen again. These are people that are called out to an emergency response falsely by someone trying to play a sick prank. A very sick prank. A lot of times it's just someone looking to get their time in the spotlight they want to see their favorite, you know, Twitch player get swatted. They don't understand how serious these situations can be. Now, is it rare for this to happen? It's rare, but it happens more often than not. Is it rare for a SWAT team to kill someone? It is, but you know what? They're going in with that possibility in mind. So that can happen. So if you can prevent that, here's how to do it. Um, I'm taking this information from an article written by Mike Cernovich of DangerInPlay.com who has prevented his own swatting. Now, unfortunately for people that stream, swatting can be a very random act. Uh, Mike Cernovich had evidence building up to a possible swatting, so he did take certain measures due to that evidence that he had. Um, to prevent his own swatting. But sometimes, as a streamer, as someone who just plays video games online and has a big following, sometimes you just don't know. It's just random. So if you're big, though, and you know you have a large fan base, it would be good to just do this anyways. And what you have to do first is call the local police department, not the emergency line, the non-emergency line. Inform them of who you are and what you do, and tell them that you have a large fan base and that it is possible that a swatting might occur. Now you might have to explain to them what swatting is if they're ill-informed. You know, if they are ill-informed, good for you for calling them up and telling them what it is. But they need to have your name and your record, your address, on file, so that if any 911 calls come through, using your name and your address that they use extreme caution in every case and don't come in with guns drawn, that it's most likely a hoax and that it is a hoax. I mean, in the odd off chance that somehow a terrorist attack actually does happen in your home and hostages are being held, I mean, how actually likely is that over an actual swatting? So, you want these preventative measures to actually save the people in your home, like your pets, like your family members, like yourself. So make sure they have your name on file and your address on file so that if any emergency any emergency calls come through, they can trace that call as well. Now, a piece of evidence that you can have as a streamer or just as a YouTube personality is that have you been doxxed before? What a doxing is, is when someone puts your information online, your address online, in a public forum for all to see. If that has happened before, that increases the chance of you being swatted. So if you know you've been doxxed, if you know that someone out there has your personal home address and has made it public, 
you should call your local authorities tonight even and just make sure that they know what is going on because you could be you could be swatted now here's a little video of someone being swatted to show you that these guys do not play around they're clearing rooms what in the world i think we're getting swatted Swatted, what in the world? What's your name? That video is a video of courtesy of Kutra, who's a member of Creature, and he was swatted. And they were not playing around. They had guns drawn, and they were willing to use them. They are looking for someone to take out. That is what a SWAT team does. And if you do not comply to everything they tell you, they will use force, and it can be deadly. Now I know after it's all said and done, once the swatting is complete, you know, you can have a laugh, you can have a beer, you know, you can wear it around your neck like a proud medallion, but it's a very serious thing and it's a prank that is very deplorable for someone to play on someone. It's a federal offense to play this quote unquote prank. Now other measures that you can take in order to have the situation a little more chill is to make sure to keep the lights on. Keep the lights on. You do not want a SWAT team running into your place with the lights off in the dark having to use a mag light looking for movement in the darkness of your apartment or home. Also if you think you're going to be swatted, make sure to have your pets, have family members like children, have them you know sent away for who knows how many days or weeks you need as long as you know you keep them safe. That's obviously if you know that a swatting is highly possible. You can never you can never know if you're just a streamer because it's a random thing some of the times. Most of the time it's just a random thing and you never know what's going to happen. So to have these preventative measures, keep the lights on, make sure that they have your name and your address on file so that they can suspect any foul play before it happens. And you know, keep your loved ones safe. If I ever start streaming and get big, I'm definitely keeping my daughter safe by having, by taking these exact steps to prevent that from happening. This game is about to end. Watch your front son, you AFK player, on a 10 merciless kill streak at the end of the game. Article in the description below if you want some more facts about how to prevent a swatting. I went 30 and 8. Thanks, Team Fear. Peace out.